Hey everyone, January is in the book. So I wanted to share my trade results for the month of January. And actually, before I jump into mine, I want to share uh, Chad's with you real quick. So Chad is, uh, Chad runs our day trading live stream a couple days a week. And so I always report his stuff too. So uh, as far as his traditional day trading goes, kind of a Pretty uh, normal month, uh, Mighty 90 strategy. He booked 1650 on 13 trades. Volume runners he, on seven trades did a little over 2000. Continuation runners, eight trades, a little over 990 for a total of 4,648. So that's kind of a typical month for Chad on his day trading stuff. The other thing I wanna share with you is so back in October of last year, so just a few months ago, uh, Chad had never ever even traded zero DTE. Uh, I started talking to him about it a little bit. He took uh, one of my zero DTE courses and decided to start paper trading. And he was uh, extremely diligent, paper traded nonstop for two months. Didn't trade any real money, just paper traded for two months. And, um, and then finally started trading real money, I think in December. And then January was his first full month of actually kind of really tracking and, and honing in on exactly how he was trading it the exact same way every time. And check out these results. So this is just for January. Uh, Chad made over $100,000 just in January. Only two red days out of 21 days uh, trading zero DTE in January. So awesome stuff. Congrats to Chad. What a, what a, what a just incredible start to, to trading zero DTE. Uh, by the way, he's going to be sharing all the details of exactly what he's doing on February 8th, Thursday, February 8th, after the market closes. So I've posted the Zoom link in our community, so you can check that out. Just mark your calendars for February 8th. All right. So on to my stuff. Not as good as Chad. I'll tell you that right now. Not as good as Chad. Uh, so first thing I'll do is I'll go over my results by account. So let's start there. All right, so in my portfolio margin account, uh, I had a pretty sizable drawdown, over 24% drawdown. So talk about just getting slapped in the face right out of the gate in 2024. I mean, you know, you go in, you're excited, great new year, can't wait to get started, and just got absolutely punched in the face. Uh, the first couple of weeks, I was down over 24%. Uh, fight. Uh, fought and clawed my way back and ended up down a quarter of a percent at the end of the month. So basically flat. So all of that work for nothing, basically. And that was mostly due to zero DTE. In this account, I trade primarily zero DTE and, and, uh, and my portfolio margin strategies. All right. So that's that overview. And then here's just the graph of it. You can see, you know, first couple days popped up doing well. And then from there, just Boom, boom, boom. Just not uh, not a great feeling. Um, but you can see I kind of clawed my way back to almost even in that account. Here's just a monthly chart comparing to SPY and QQQ. And then here is my TOS standard margin account. And the strategies I trade in here are my option selling, short premium, hedgehogs, ducks, time flies, a little bit of zero DTE, uh, and, and some calendars. And so a lot better in this count, plus 10%, uh, with a very low max drawdown, uh, only a drawdown of 1.32%. So this is more in line with what I like to see. Um, so that was, uh, so that's good. So here's kind of the, the P and L graph for January. Um, nice and lower left to upper right. And then there's the bar chart, a little over 10% compared to SCPY and QQQ. Uh, my Tradier standard margin account, uh, this is primarily my backtest driven calendar strategies. Uh, a little bit red for the month, down, ended up down 2.3%, had an intramonth drawdown of 7.39. So there you can see kind of my, uh, actually kind of bounced back to, I was, you know, I was down, like I said, over, over 7% at one point. Bounce back ended uh, still a little bit red on the month. You can see the bar chart there compared to the SPY and QQQ. And then uh, the other account that I'll, I'll start sharing here, and this is the reason I, 
I don't, I didn't share before is it's, it's mostly discretionary type directional trading in futures. Um, so in this, in this account, I'm doing my market on close imbalance trades where I have a, I have a little mini course in the community about how I trade that. And then the other part is just directional futures trading. It's discretionary. Uh, it's price action driven. I'm actually putting together some details about kind of exactly what I'm looking at. Uh, so I haven't, I haven't really uh, put that out yet. So, but the account did really well uh, in January, over 65% return. Now, keep in mind, this is my smallest account too. So, you know, 65% is great, but it's on a much smaller number than my other ones. Uh, and I had a max drawdown of 12.18. So there's my PL curve. There's the monthly bar chart uh, for my trade of eight account. All right. So that's uh, just kind of a high level overview of the different accounts that I trade. Let's go to Trader Sync and we'll kind of break it down by strategy. All right. So here's zero DTE. So for the month ended up about 12,000 bucks higher for zero DTE after digging myself a hole. Uh, if I kind of break these down a little bit more, uh, started doing an overnight iron condor. A few of those trades, uh, a little bit positive, plus 675. Um, I don't think three, any three, two, no, that's, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I was doing some of those. All right, so minus 7,000 on my three, two re-entries. Uh, I don't think I had any, well, let's do all AM ratios here just to kind of put those together. All right, so on my AM trades, so I got to refresh this every time, uh, plus 8,705. So AM trades have been, uh, did well throughout the month. Uh, my DKS had one monster loser. Oh, come on, Trader Sync. Uh, let's see, yeah. I had one one big loser on DKS for minus 5,800. All the rest were winners, so plus 10,000 on DKS trades. Those continue to do well. So at the time of this recording, this is FOMC day. So I took a couple of FOMC trades today, uh, one of which was my FOMC iron condor. So actually, those need to be combined. That was actually a scratch. And then, um, and then my long strangle that I took, plus 3,800 on my FOMC trades. JSPs had five of those, four of which were winners for a total profit of 16,875. And then Power Hour. So Power Hour did not do so hot. I think that's right. Yeah, minus twenty thousand on my power hour trades. So that was my big, uh, my big headwind was power hour. PM iron condors did not do well either. So basically, I just should have stuck with before lunch, is what uh, what the stats are telling me. You can see I only had two winners here. Uh, one, two, three, six losers. Minus sixteen thousand on those. And then quiet lunch, kind of midday trades. Those did about a little bit red, minus, uh, minus 1,600 on those, 60% win rate on 11 trades. Rick, my buddy Rick is not really setting up these days as far as from a mechanical perspective, uh, but I did do a couple discretionary and there was a couple that did so plus 7,400 on my reverse iron condors. I uh, started trading an O2 uh, call calendar. Uh, doing really, this is really still kind of in test mode, uh, although I'll be doing it with a little bit bigger size next month. So two losers uh, on uh, seven trades, uh, 925 total profit on those. And then my one DTE iron condor, this is not, obviously a zero DTE, but I, I trade it like a zero DTE trade. So I just keep it with the zero DTE category. Uh, that continues to do well, even though I had a few losers still plus 9,000 on my one DTE trades. 
Time flies, dynamic butterflies. I had a couple losers and a few winners, but still a little bit red, a little bit, about a minus 1100 on those. Dynamic calendars. Got a bunch of these, so let me get all of these clicked. A little bit red on calendars, uh, minus 2200. And then next category would be my uh, MOC. So I had a couple MOC trades. This doesn't happen very often. Uh, so you can see I had, I took four of these this month uh, for plus 4,600. And then options selling. Had a uh, winner in gold on a short strangle. Uh, those are just rolls, so that one's still open. Natty Gas for plus 430 on a short strangle. Uh, a couple of small losses on ES Hedgehog. That one's still open. Uh, books and Profits on some short premium in the Euro. And the Volatility uh, in VXX, uh, plus 926 on that one. So plus 3,700 on the option selling trades. And then my portfolio margin strategies. Came out green on those, plus uh, about 8,700. Uh, so pretty consistent there. Had a few losers. PM time fly for minus 3,000. Just pointing out some of the bigger ones. Uh, a Humpty for plus 2,500. The yeah, others kind of plus or minus less than 1,000. Golden Shark for fourteen hundred. Uh, so that's portfolio margin. The only other, the only other strategy that I traded this month would be my um, directional. Uh, let's see, a lot of these I don't trade anymore. Um, where's my directional? Uh, let's see, directional, where is it, where is it? Directional, trader, where is my directional? Sorry, sorry, give me a second, give me a second. Uh, what, where do I have this one under? Uh, sorry, my friends. Is it under, oh, there it is right there, <laughs> right under D directional futures. So on my directional future strategies, a little over 9,800. So this is really the only strategy that I don't, um, that I haven't specifically taught, uh, all the details yet. All the others are trade alerts and call that during the live stream and all that good stuff. So. That is it, my friends. Hopefully, February is even better. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to dig myself out of a hole. Uh, I will be posting kind of my updated zero DTE trade plan in the community um, here in the next week or so. And um, I'm going to be making a lot of changes uh, to how I'm going to be doing it. And so I'll keep you uh, posted with the details on that. As always, we are not financial advisors. Uh, Options trading does involve risk. You can pause the video and read the rest of this disclosure. Take care. I'll update you on the performance in February.